Howdy folks, I hope you're doing well and staying safe. This is time for the new European Destroyer Line. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce this one. Movenet, Movenet. I am sure I'm screwing that up, so I apologize to anyone who knows for their sake. I've got the Tier 5 and Tier 6. Uh, tier 6 review will be coming out after this. So far, I'm really enjoying this, and you're about to see a good glimpse of this right now in the, the last half of this after you go through the segment. These boats are definitely gunboats, and they're definitely torpedo boats. The torpedoes are not outstanding. They're kind of mid-range. I just showed you there. They're, they do great range. Like, sorry, they do great speed. Uh, range is 7 kilometers of Tier 5, and you can get higher than that. Usually Tier 8 or 8 kilometers. So, eh, they're not great. Turning's fantastic, and the shooting's fine. Smoke is fantastic, so it's a speed boost. But let's do ourselves a favor and get into it, and I'll talk about it. The Wargaming Art Department just does themselves great with this. Only 10 mil everywhere, so you're going to pen by pretty much a BP shooter, so a BP gun. 11.9 for health points, it's very low, so watch it. Guns, 120 millimeter, 5 second reload, 10.5 range, 20 millimeter penetration with 10% fire chance. The only thing she can't pen is the uh, gearing. I think she's got 21 or 22 on the side, so she's not going to see it, so that's 5 tiers up. Other than that, she can penetrate and destroy You don't look at AP because it's only HE. Torps. You got four torps, uh, seven kilometers, 72 knot speed, and basically, yeah, you can be seen at 1.6 kilometers, so people can maneuver. Decent damage at 6,200. I would say they're not low, they're not high, they're just medium, they're okay. Depth charges, two drops, six depth charges, 40 seconds. Dear God, water gaming, please change that to 30 at least. Maneuverability, 37 knots with speed flag and without the boost, it's great. Good rudder shift, 3.1 on the rudder shift. Fantastic. Concealment at tier 5 is okay. It's decent at 5.9. 7.9 if you're on fire, put the fire out. Um, smoke penalty in, 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 uh, in, uh, in smoke is 2.4 kilometers, which is fantastic. I used it, as you'll see here at the end. So let's jump into the equipment. So for me, I take um, main armament modification, of course, and I take engine room protection. I, I do take uh, aiming modification system because you're going to be firing mostly at range. 5 and 38, pretty standard for repair kit. Smoke's good at 23 seconds when you want to disperse it, and it lasts quite a bit, 77 seconds. Speed boost, an extra 8%, puts you over 40 knots. It lasts a minute and a half. It's great. Those are my flags that I take. This looks pretty standard so far in the Tier 5 and Tier 6. Exterior, she's going naked because I'm not buying camel. I'm sorry, it has no value anymore. This is permanent. Kurt. Okay, first off, grease the gears because the turning radius is terrible on these guns. You can get into a turning brawl and not be able to shoot, so especially if you want to kite away. I do take liquidator because if I do hit my torps, I want an extra 30% chance to flood. That's very important. Fast but slow. These next four right here, incoming fire, preventive maintenance, and of course last stand, and then um, um, uh, prior to target, these are so important for me. I take adrenaline rush because you're going to shot. I take demolition expert. I take Dazzle and Concealment. These two are important because in this line, you're going to get detected first. Dazzle is very important. These two, in my opinion, for Tier 4 compared to the other ones. If you add extra 4 points, take RPF. That's what I would do, personally. So here's a good example in that same game where that uh, Farragut is coming after me. I've baited him to come after me, uh, and he did, so that's fine. I just smoke. Don't, don't get concealed. Or sorry, I get Concealment. And then just start turning in. You can make a, a kind of a U-shaped smoke pattern here. And, of course, he's going to fire. And my torpedoes miss, which is not a big deal. But here comes the, the, the fun part. See, first of all, the turrets are extremely slow. So I'd be very careful about that. I mean, make sure you have what you're looking for. I'm expecting him to torp me, but he doesn't. He starts to charge me, which is kind of weird. Maybe already got rid of his torps. But you can sit here and have a gun battle and juke and jive in this. And it was very successful. So I was very happy. Overall, so far, I think the Tier 5 is actually extremely strong. I think it's stronger than the Tier 6, to be honest with you. Even though the torpedoes are kind of bad. Overall, I like it, and he's dead. So we ended up winning this game. I ended up owning this entire flank. I got the cap, and I never gave it up and took on all those battleships down below and did way more damage. Great game. I like the series. The European destroyers are great. I'm going to keep going for sure and get them all because so far I'm liking it. Hey, leave me a comment down below. Tell me if you enjoy it. Are you happy? Are you doing the early access? What do you guys think? So as always, take care, stay safe, and bye for now.